Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing well. Today I thought we'd have a look at a car that's recently arrived at Barra Motors. It's not necessarily one of our cheap car buys, it's not necessarily like an exciting big V8 car or anything, but it may well be the most unloved, uncleaned part exchange car that we have ever seen. I do think it will end up being a bit of a diamond in the rough. I think we can turn this around, so let's have a look at what we've got. So there you have it. It's actually quite impressive just how dirty this car is. Beauty is only skin deep though, and I think this dirt is only skin deep. It's mainly gonna come off, but it is gonna be a bit of a job for the valeters. So let's have a quick look around and highlight some of my favorite points. So this paintwork should, you know, be alive. It's a bright, vibrant red, but just look at all the stuff on it. This just hasn't been touched. It's going to be so satisfying to spray that with a cleaning product and let it all drip off. Aloe wheels, I think, are genuinely black, but do need touching up. We may end up even getting them refurbed with. I just can't believe all this kind of scuzzy whatever. I think it's clearly been left under a tree. We got bird poo for a start. The side skirts, it's just never really been cleaned, is it? There is a nasty couple of car parking things there, which is a shame, but we can get Mike of NW Dents to come and get them out and I'm sure we can touch them up. You can kind of tell it was under a tree just by all the leaves that are under the scuttle panel under the bonnet there. Dang, it's just ridiculous. Look at the kind of like rain scuttle trays or whatever you call them. It's just obscene. Tire-wise, what we got? We've got a triangle there. Uh, the front one is uh, a triangle again, but definitely wanting replacing really i think on the front the rear had a pretty decent amount of tread i mean walking around this car it's going to be very much all the same it's just like look at that look at the mud look how disgusting it is if you're considering this car was taken in part exchange against uh one of these a range rover sport and our most expensive one at that a 23 24 000 pound range rover sport i don't know i mean they obviously like cars that's why they wanted to upgrade maybe they didn't like this car and that's why they never cleaned it i don't know very strange. We've got another triangle. Looks to be pretty good on this side. Other than just general poo and schmegmums on here. Doesn't seem to be anything too drastic. It's probably going to want a really good polish this afterwards, isn't it? And we're nearly well, on the wear indicators there, really. So it's definitely going to want a front pair of tyres, but that's not the end of the world. Uh, fresh set of number plates on here just to get rid of all the kind of marketing crap that's on there. Slaters, whoever. There is a few scuffs. Slaters.com. Welsh. North Wales. Uh, I've got a bit of a scuff going on here and around the bumper as well. And then there is a little bit of one through the arch here. What tends to happen with cars like this when it's really dirty is when you actually clean it up, you might find even more problems. But I think it's going to need... A pretty decent polish anyway just to kind of bring this back to life so any minor little marks that there are we can probably take out with that so let's have a look inside do have two keys i believe and as is written on the tag here i may as well tell you that this car has only got forty-six thousand miles on it you just wouldn't believe it would you to look at the condition of it you just think how Forty-six thousand miles a uh, little 1.4 petrol inside is what would be quite a nice interior but it's pretty filthy in here. Actually, the guys were cleaning this and I just sort of said, oh, hold on before you clean it too much because I quite want to sort of... Oh, nice. Some vape tips. Oh, some money in there. One pet or sticker on the back as well from a gift card. Uh, film this before we, before we get it all cleaned up and we don't, you know, get a before and after because it's just satisfying to see, isn't it? Um, yeah, just general hair and schmegs. And we've got the rubbish bin in the armrest. Uh, charge cable. Ah, oh, oops. A bag of white chocolatey things. One of our cars bought for more.com cards. If you do want to price a new vehicle, then that's where you head. Oh, someone's prescription, better not show that. A phone holder, a parking thing. The shiniest two pence piece I've ever seen. In fact, I think that is the shiniest, cleanest thing in this entire car. Oh, yes. Sweet curry from McDonald's. Smashing. Um, they do have an air freshener in this. They want it to smell 
nice at least. Good old bits of fingernail and whatever. We have a child's book, a child's, is that a Ford Granada? A Ford Galaxy, maybe? Someone will know for sure. Oh yeah, Ford Galaxy. Says it on the back. Um, we have got all our headrests, which surprises me, to be honest, considering the condition. We've got a, a sucky window thingy. Oh, what have we got in here? Uh, oh God, I'm not sure I want to know what that is. I think some things are better left unknown. God knows what's being warmed in that. We have got a parcel shelf, but why is it lying on the floor? Maybe it wants a repair. We have both pegs there. So, oh, it's looking a bit mm, ruined on there, to be honest. Um, but, you know, it's there at least. I'm fairly certain we can make good of that. We've got another 20p. So far we're at 23p in here. Our side bag thing is knackered. Got some lip balm, lovely and whatever that is always reassuring to see that there's some oil to be honest it is quite reassuring to see that although it's not a premium brand it's halfords and the amount of times you see like asda or tesco's own mineral oil in the boot of a car is not good oh we've got our we've got two air pump kits we've got some screen wash and we've got some jump leads interesting and two like masonry bolt screw things oh and another 5p just throw money around these people. Let's try and get everything back in there. This lovely, perfect position. And that can come off. Lovely. Oh, got a plastic spoon. I can add that to my collection of plastic cutlery at home because my other half, Sophie, very generously gives me a plastic fork because she can't stand the noise of the is the exciting life I lead. Uh, some more used plasters and bottle tops and stuff like that. Uh, ah, collection of face masks. That saved me 25p. Uh, dog poo bags or might not be used, might, what is it? It's a food recycling bag, isn't it? Actually, it looks all right. Cleanest part of the car, probably. Got what looks like the original battery, which is interesting since it had jump leads. Were they just safety cautious or? is the battery on its way out. I guess they'll test it when they do the PDI. I reckon someone's cat or something has been sleeping under here. There is loads of room to get up under. And I reckon they've been sitting on the back there to warm up because, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but to me, that's pretty obviously a lot of hair, probably from a cat. It's gonna be upset now. It's gonna have to try and find its way into a Range Rover. Now, interestingly, I know there'll be a lot of you in the comments who'll say, oh, don't think it's very professional sort of saying this about the cars and saying the condition of the car there'll be plenty of people who say it's you know disgusting i'm not that bothered it's just part of the job i don't really care i'm not offended i'm not whatever i'm not really that grossed out by it i, f I find it quite satisfying to see it cleaned but there will be those people in there like i wouldn't be very happy if i was that customer and you're you know putting this out there to the world i'm not putting them down for it i'm just saying that's it i mean that's just the facts of it and that's what we do on this channel is just share the facts of how it goes in the car trade. If they didn't want to see it like that, then they shouldn't have left it so dirty. Some people care about the cleanliness of their car, others don't. It doesn't really bother me all that much, but to put a weird sort of theory that you're, if you want to give your car to us absolutely filthy with a load of your old rubbish in it for us to clean out, that it would be out of line for us to kind of show people around and say, look, this is a condition that cars come in in part exchange. That seems odd to me. If that was a concern to you, don't do it. Simple as that. So. I'm sure I will get people in the comments complaining, saying that I shouldn't show this sort of stuff and it's not very professional, etc, etc. Everyone has a choice in life, don't they? You don't have to leave your car in a filthy, disgusting state. If you didn't, then I wouldn't be able to share it to the world, would I? So Now, normally, this is where I would drive the car and we'd talk about how it drives and then we'd come back, we'd clean it up and we'd do it uh, at like a reveal afterwards. But uh, it is now on my fake watch, before anyone thinks that this is like a... £70,000 Patek Philippe watch. It's now 20 to 4 and rather than take it out now while it's dirty, it's actually off for its MOT first thing in the morning because we had an empty MOT slot and this thing was here and ready to go. So I think we're just going to leave it there. It can go for its MOT in the morning. I will see you then.
the car is looking a lot brighter, even though the weather is hideous. But I thought we could probably wrap this video up now because the car is looking a hundred times better. I have to say it wasn't perfect underneath, but that's quite often the case when you've got a really filthy car because it, it hides a lot of the minor imperfections. There were a few little bits that need a touching up, but we are talking touch ups, nothing major. And it shined up so well that we've actually sold it already. And we're taking another even lower mileage example in part exchange, possibly even the same year, but they've got the diesel, which in my mind is the preferable engine. And this one is the 1.4 petrol. And I guess they live in a ULEZ area, so they need a petrol car. It goes to show that sometimes you can find gold underneath all the dirt. And it turned out quite well. It was a good deal for us, really. So I guess we'll leave it there, not only because it's the end of the video, but I'm also getting absolutely soaked. Don't forget, we are running a competition where you can win a Harley Davidson for just a quid. Don't forget to subscribe because we're giving away a £4,000 Tudor watch as well. As soon as we hit 100,000 subscribers, it's free to do, as is hitting the like button, which also really helped me out. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get inside in the dry. I'll see you next time.